The Ratsies are going to celebrate George Washington's birthday at Madison Square Garden, claiming GW to be the nation's first Fritz Kuhn. In 1939, 20,000 Nazi sympathizers stage a rally at Madison Square Garden. The symbols of America and the symbols of Nazism sit side by side. So you get a large banner behind the podium of George Washington, flanked by swastika flags and American flags. Winchell cannot allow the event to go unnoticed by the American people. In every corner of the land, America was nauseated. The American press unanimously condemned it as the vilest sacrilege ever perpetrated in the name of American freedom. As Hitler's forces occupy Paris and threaten to invade Britain, public sentiment in America remains strongly against intervening. The America First Committee, founded as a student anti-war movement, takes a dark turn when Charles Lindbergh becomes its spokesman. While most of the country reveres the heroic aviator, when Lindbergh praises Germany and is given a medal by the Nazis, Winchell is quick to go on the attack. Lindbergh made a speech in Des Moines Thursday night, an unmistakable appeal to anti-Semitism. We cannot allow the natural passions and prejudices. Lindbergh asks his audience, who's leading us to war? It's the Jews. The British, the Jewish, or the administration. And then he slips into some of the worst anti-Semitic tropes. And why are we getting this message to go to war? Where are we getting it from? Well, we're getting it from the media. And don't the Jews control the media? What he's saying, Jews aren't Americans. Our government, our press, the Jews are not part of our. In December 1941, the attack on Pearl Harbor puts an end to all debate about intervention. Winchell feels vindicated. The importance of the Japanese attack is that war between the US and Hitler is imminent. This will mobilize the efforts of the whole American people.